There's classics here as well, disco classics as well as, um, you know. There's the melting pot. It's one of the biggest um, hits on the dance floor today. And it was written, well, a little over 20 years ago. Vogue records are much more concerned with attitude. You know, you've got to have the drama because the vulgars need to be able to get into the, the music and it's got to change. It's got to be a lot of changes, a lot of drama, a lot of things happening, things going up and coming down and dropping out. And the house dancers, on the other hand, they just need that pump. <laughs> I've always heard that the first house was the delightful ladies in Brooklyn in the early 60s. And we have the house of Pandavas, the house of Overness, house of Omni, house of Ebony, house of Extravaganza, house of Magnifique, house of La Beja, house of Cori, house of... We're going back, back, way back in the time. Welcome. You are now trying to speak of the time war. Free time, dance, and a little bit of elements of dance. The music we dance to is like music from um, the late 70s, early 80s, all the R&B records that came out then that they used to play in this club called the Ecstasy Garage, I mean the Paradise Garage. <laughs> and that music is just so there. It's just so, that's where quote unquote house came from, which is where, the, which is where it started, because it's like, you could read magazine the days and they'll say, they have like house and garage music for the new records that's coming out. And that's the feel of the music that we listen to. And it's like, only certain DJs know how to play the records because they're the only ones who know how to, who have those certain records that we listen to. Fly and the Family Stone's greatest hits. Uh, that's a must. Um, Span Creative. Africa House by Zafra, J. Williams, Sweat, um, let's see, Alternate, that's a great wig. This is the walk. This is, when, this is when we first made the edges. Now it's a snake, it, baby. That's the snake. I like that dance, personally. What else can I show you? Uh, here's a Timothy Leary album. I don't think even Timothy Leary has a copy of that. But <laughs> I should maybe send him one. This is my man Ramir. What everybody else is doing, but we're in the East. We're doing in the East in Brooklyn. Boom, boom. Uh, uh, I started working at um, Save the Robots and uh, at uh, Nickelback and um, Pyramid and um, then the Tunnel and um, and uh, Afro Sheen uh, or Under Sheen, whatever you want to call it. Um, Red Zone, The World. Um, uh, I've been around. No, there's no name to it really, but this is mostly the style that our posse, you know, they recognize us with. What's your name? Like What's your name? Wise guys, wise guys. Wise guys. Wise guys. Wise guys. Top. My man Loose Leaf, Rock, Top. Peter Paul, Big Stretch, and my name is Flex. Okay, now all those styles is like a popping, all the old stuff, popping, boom, head, boom, head, body, boom. That's the wise guys. turn off 
off all the lights, all the outside lights in the place. And then I use this light right here to spotlight who's ever hot at the moment. I shine it on the dance floor and wonder, you know, if somebody's really feeling it and they're like, they're really working, I'll just take the light and just shine it like this right on them and give them the spotlight and it just, it just drives them, you know, to perfection. California because people in California did it. Anyway. About three years ago, we was at the world. Everybody sang out in the world was Frankie Knuckles used to play there. Marjorie was doing a lot of African style dance steps. She just really got into it, you know, she was really getting into the steps and um like two weeks later, everybody was doing the same stuff she was doing before. And I've seen a lot of like um, deaths on the underground scene have influenced so much major stuff that's out on floors today. All the dances just evolve. They just keep evolving year after year, changing, changing. You add, just throw stuff into it. It's like you get a step down pat and you just try to keep adding stuff to it. You pick up stuff from them, and they pick up stuff from you, and you know, you kick a lot of different skills together, and you just have a great time. And I'm signing off today with my host of lovely, lovely stars, Peace and Soul. But we got one more before we go. Hammer! Hammer! House music is totally um, dance floor oriented music and it's very, very hypnotic and it's all about repetition. It's about um, just putting you in a trance.
I started old style voguing, which is very pop at the time. That was still in the days when people were doing like Chiboogie and stuff, so I was still popping and very Tai Chi, very ninja type voguing, which I was in at the time. I was in the House of Ninja. Giving this a lot of footwork and arm movement. All style was just very simple movement and very simple poses, whereas new style is usually more with the locking and the with the waves and stuff like that. One time you couldn't dip. They tell you specifically at a ball. The MC would tell you, "Don't lay down on the floor." Bring it on down, Leo. Bring it on down, girl. Hop. In the old days, the old ball, you had did most of your preparation at home, and when you came to the ball, you were like relegated to being in the background, waiting for your turn to walk. Whereas now, they make an outing out of it, a party. Then you were more or less in a competition, more like, more like a Miss America, where you were a contestant waiting and there was an audience. And you had spent all these hours preparing your gowns, beating, sewing, putting together feathers and coming. And now, you come prepared to walk many times to do many different categories. Black, white, Chinese, Spanish. I used to wear costumes, like Las Vegas showgirls. That's basically what balls were all about. The audience would be straight people. On stage would just be drag queens, and there were only three trophies, grand, first, and second. But there was one time when a kid named Jay, she came in a birdcage, and Crystal came with wings. Now balls are geared towards modeling and voguing and things like that. But back then, everything was geared towards Hollywood. And as the Butch Queens started coming to balls in like the mid-70s, they started off during the era when Twiggy was a top model. They started having mod boy categories. And from the mod boy categories, they started adding more gear and style and phase and all of this. And it all built into what it is today. And today, it's more Butch Queens come to balls than drag queens. They have taken the balls over. And today's theme would be more or less like a model. Everybody's interested in looking like the models and walking like the models. This is what you call Marcel Defect, where is he's working with the music and he's letting the music work for him. And he's taking his time. And he's not bothered. That's the thing about it. He's very comfortable. He's like, I don't give a damn. I must commend him because he sells the garment. Basically, that's like I said, selling the garment. Now, when the family queens come up, it's still the same thing. Sell the garment, but as a woman. Play it. Felicia and Lee. La Bacia. Syndrome. La Bacia. Scandal. La Bacia. Power. La Bacia. Syndrome. Sir, can I have Odavia scores, please? They made a whole category Ten. on not Ten. so much what you wore, Ten. but how you move. And from the magazine Vogue, they took the name Vogue. And it became how you did your own exaggerated performance of a runway model. One. Seven. Give me what I want. Eight. 
If there's anybody else walking the old way, follow right behind him. Wow. Can I have the scores for Brian, please? Tens across the board. Thank you, Brian. Brian, you got all ten. Thank you, Sam. dance community, we understand each other, and that makes us feel good. Ten years from now, there'll be another group of kids out there doing the same thing. They'll look back at what we did, and they'll call that old school. It's always going to be there, and that's just that.